So I had a viewer ask how I make the goose food. So that's what this video is, you see. They love their food and it's a soupy mess, which I think makes them even happier. Anyway, this is how it's done, super easy. Down the horse food aisle of your feed store, you're gonna find some grass pellets. This is, uh, I do a three-way mix of orchard grass, Timothy hay and alfalfa. Um, just get a bag each and mix them up really well in your can. Um, and then over here, this is just a flock feed uh, mixed with a little bit of scratch grain. Um, I would say probably something like four parts flock feed, one part scratch grain. I just mix that in real good. It's got like some sunflower seeds and, and some different, different types of oats and wheats and stuff in it. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to get yourself a bucket like this, five gallon bucket, any good size bucket will do. And of course, how much you use is going to depend on how many birds you're making for, but the ratios stay the same. You're going to do in the winter time, you're going to do equal parts. So, you know, a scoop of this and a scoop of that or two scoops of each or whatever, equal parts. In the summertime, you can do that as well, but it's not really necessary to give them quite so much of the corn based stuff in the summertime. So in the summertime, I do more like a two to one, two scoops of this to every one scoop of that. Um, you're going to take that, those and put them in your bucket. In my case, when I do that, it fills my bucket about halfway with the feed. And then I fill it the rest of the way, just maybe a half inch from the top with water, maybe an inch from the top with water. Um, and I let that soak overnight. It's important. You want to let it soak. The colder it is, the longer it needs to soak. Um, but basically the idea is you want to make sure that your grass pellets have fully absorbed the water and they can't absorb any more water. Um, and they should, uh, the easiest way to tell is when you pick the grass pellet up, it should, you know, dissolve basically or fall apart very easily in your hand. Um, these are very compact and they're very dry. And when they get wet, they expand. They double or sometimes maybe even triple in size. And if you imagine that your bird eats this really fast and fills their crop while they're dry, and then they expand in their crop, it could injure your bird, make them sick. I don't, I don't know how severe it could get, but you don't, you don't want to do that. Just don't ever give your birds these pellets dry. Make sure you've soaked them for a few hours at least. Um, and then that's, uh, that's most of it. Then you just, you know, once you've soaked your pellets in your feed overnight, I put them in the bowl and then you just uh, top it with some water. Make it a little extra soupy for them. They like it soupier. Um, and uh, that's how I make the goose food. Um, yeah, works out great. The geese, uh, the geese definitely seem to like it. <laughs>